two men on the then. Bresden on a hat trick. <laughs> so we've got Sammy and we've got Bravo, two excellent players, two experienced players. Sammy the finisher. Pressure now on the West Indies. Pretty well in the first game. Pressure is on him here. Oh, no. short. Third man is up and will go for four. That's the risk you take with third man up. Brilliant. Very good. I just think he should bowl that more often. I think he's a good Yorker bowler. I don't think he bowls it enough. God, no man at deep mid wicket. Gone all the way. Going for the Yorker gets it slightly wrong, gets punished. See the left leg opens up because he's waiting for the ball pitched up the Yorkers would previously. And when you miss your length, Sammy makes you pay. And there's the variation to finish the over. An over that's gone for 14. West Indies will be happy with that. Two to go then, 136 for five. Sammy goes big, he goes very big out of the ground for six. Just what Sammy needed. Now then, surely it's West Indies game. This is where it's become so good in the last 16 months. Stays back in the crease. And we got length on it anyway. Strong shot down the ground, has that gone all the way? You bet it has. What a finish this has been from the finisher. There's still two to go, but the West Indies are almost there. He has become some player at this stage. Matthew, you can't just go for this straight York. Because your chances if you miss your length like that is you pay the full penalty. Smashed, absolutely smashed. Too good in the knee, no chance. Darren Sammy take a bow. What a finish from the finisher, from the captain. And it's West Indies that are just too good again for England. They take the series 2-0 with a game to play. And England have shown some fight. Let's give them credit. But in the end, West Indies have won quite convincingly.